everyone, this is Laura Dudois. I'm very happy that everyone's logging in currently. We're trying to wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else is going to join us. We do have our uh, board, our SRC board also here. Lee and Rick are also logged in. They'll uh, be able to show you their webcam soon just to say wave hello. Before we get started real quick here, so we're just giving a few folks a couple of more minutes because I know we have a couple more registered and we'll see if they're going to log in pretty soon. Um, everyone, just as a recap, this is a listen-only uh, webinar. We will open it up later for uh, just a brief thank you. Uh, but as far as questions are concerned, we'll be sending out a survey via link uh, and email that to everyone so that everyone can go ahead and, and give us their feedback and questions. What we're trying to do is consolidate all the questions uh, answer them and then send them out uh, to everyone and all the attendees as a whole um, with the questions and answers. So that'll be hopefully later this week once we've been able to receive everyone's questions and, and have completed that for you. So let's see, it looks like we're going to go ahead and get started here. The majority of individuals are registered. I'm gonna go ahead and start the presentation and then we'll come back um, for a closing. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Juan Guzman. I'm your state referee and trainer. Thank you for joining today. I hope everybody's families are safe and healthy. This will be a two night event. Today I will present first and Laura Dubois, our registrar, will present second. On Thursday, we'll have Rick Rem, Director of Assessment, and Lee Eckenbaum, Director of Instruction. Let's get it started. We want to note we will have an ad for the Referee Association presidents to ask questions that was not covered in this presentation. We will have that by the end of the week. We will send it out. Also, if one of your members will be able to attend this webinar, we'll have this presentation available well, and we'll let you know in that email exactly where it is. Okay, the mission statement stays the same. We will be rolling out our new Cal South program, and it will be sent out to the Referee Association presidents and committee members. Hopefully by the first week of June, you'll have about three weeks to go through it before our 2021 registration date on July 1st. So it will involve all the facets that we have free program of creating a career structure uh, for the referee lifespan. A very important part of our program are these two gentlemen, Lee and Rick, I wanna welcome you. You were selected and recommended to the Cal South Board of Directors and approved for your roles. You can see their contact information. I'm very excited for both of these gentlemen coming on board and helping our program. Here are obviously ongoing members. We have Laura's contact information. Uh, if you have any questions about registration, she is the person to go to. She's a guru. She has contact with US Soccer directly and can answer all of your questions. And of course, if you want to speak to me, my contact information is there as well. Here are a few pending positions that we are in the process of recommendation and getting approval by the Cal South Board Directors for these members that are required positions by US Soccer. Um, we also have a few uh, support staff that help us. You, Many of you have had already contact with them one is the three distribution site managers, which are Jesus Cisneros, uh, Fabio Tovar, and Andre Wolas. They help basically distributing games and fields to the referee associations evenly and fairly. Great, let's move on. Here are a few updates that you may or may not be aware of. The Cal South Board of Directors suspended all cups, all tournaments, all programs 
until further no notice. Obviously, in accordance with California and governor's stay at home orders. So um, they are having contingency plans once that is lifted and we will communicate with everyone as soon as that happens. Here are our cups and events canceled so far. The first one was an important one. It was our first identification slash mental camp. There was 80 referees that were selected by referee coordinators slash mentors on state cup, national cup, adult state cup, and CRL events this year. They were gonna referee in front of referee coaches at a national and regional level, uh, having formal assessments at no cost. That will continue for next National League, which will be in 2021. Uh, so we will give you more information about that. Also, referee associations were able to recommend referees. So we'll keep you updated on that uh, and we'll continue that program. I think it'll be very important for us. Uh, obviously, Far West Regionals and President's Cup, that took away a lot of opportunities uh, for our referees to get exposure outside of CalSouth and the DA that will uh, cancel and expire. Um, I know a lot of referees that were going through that program. This is a big blow. We recommend them to continue to do our state cup, national cup, adult state cup, and CRL uh, to get that development that they need. Continuing on with referee education, we started this new initiative, have referee education online available. We created a new CalSouth referee YouTube channel. The link and the dates will be sent uh, to the referee associations. We recommend that you post on your social media, websites, or emails that you send your membership for them to have content for development. Uh, our SDA will also reach out to the instructors. Hopefully some of your classroom sessions or webinars can be taped uh, or recorded so that we can post on the YouTube channel for our CalSouth community. Moving on, I'm very excited to introduce to you the CalSouth Referee Gear Shop. We are still finalizing some details. Obviously, things have been delayed with the current situations that we have now. However, once it gets online, we'll let everyone know ASAP. This is very important, and I hope it is adopted by our associations and our referees and all our membership. It will give us a team appearance, and it will project us as professionals that we are. I hope everybody adopts it and I'm excited to see how we all look as a team on the fields. Great. Let's continue. Become a referee challenge. This was a promotional video that we put out on our social media and on our website. If you can also help out and do the same for yours, we are targeting not only the referee community, but we're targeting clubs and also college students, anybody that has ties to any of these avenues, uh, friends and families, we would appreciate it if you could send them uh, or lead them to the websites that have these videos and also to the CalCell website to be able to register uh, as a new official. Let's talk a little bit about referee program changes. We are as is for the remainder of 2020 for registration for all facets. We as a committee will begin to ratify the program at hand. Obviously things that are working, we will keep or modify and things that are not working or haven't worked in the past to meet the needs of all the referee associations and their members, we are going to take a strong look at. We would like this to be 
a process where the referee associations are involved. I am calling out to the presidents to gather their information between their committee and any requests for changes or modifications to the Cal South referee program, please send to Laura by May 15th. We will get together as a committee. We will look at all of those and we will try to get together and decide what's best practice going forward. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Going forward, we'll continue the plan of these webinar outreaches between the referee associations and the SRC on a quarterly basis. Please continue to be involved in the surveys we send out. It's a great way for us to receive feedback, see where our community is and what we need to do to better meet the needs of our referee community. And we also want to continue this line of communication. Please send us your monthly meeting calendar of the year. My commitment is for the SRC to go out once we return to normality to be a part of those sessions. Uh, we're trying to reach at least everyone in the first year. So please, we, we appreciate all the help and we will also be there to help you. Final thoughts for me, please don't forget to subscribe to our monthly newsletter, the official word. Please encourage your members to do that as well. We have a piece where we highlight a referee from Cal South monthly that has done great things in our state and at a national level. Up next, we have Laura Dubois with her registration updates immediately following this presentation. For Thursday, May 5th at 5 p.m., we'll have Lee and Rick have their presentation webinar on assessment and instruction. Thank you everyone for logging in today and thank you for your continued support. Together, we'll solidify our reign as the top referee program in the country. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Laura Dudua. And for my portion of the Referee Association presentation, I will be covering the 2021 Referee Recertification Requirements and any updates thereof, as well as uh, CalSelf state requirements. So let's get started. CalSelf updates and additional certifications. With COVID-19, we have both state and local distancing orders, as we all know, as well as U.S. Soccer and CalSelf mandated suspension of in-person courses for our safety. So that being said, the SRC has with the approval of U.S. Soccer, uh, come up with the interim provisional approval path for the new grassroots referees. What this entails is that those new referees would pay their registration fees. They would continue to take their online course through the U.S. Soccer Learning Center. However, when it comes to the in-person training, they actually have until December 14th of 2020 to complete that. They can do that with their local associations and or complete it with the Cal South registered uh, in-person trainings once they are up and running. So that's the only difference. What that entails and the information on how that distribution is going forth is through our website. We do have uh, it posted on our website of under how to become a referee with steps thereof, as well as it being posted under the calendar events page. The calendar events page when they do complete the registration there which will not charge them on that particular page will provide them an automated email with all the necessary links and information on what to do next it allows us to also capture their information so that we're then able to go ahead and start the uh, customer service and um, member um, orientation into that path and just kind of help them along the way as they go through this process. CDC concussion training. This training has actually already been required for Cal South team admins, whether there be a team manager, uh, assistant coach, head coach, they have been taking this. So if your referee is also a coach that has, that has taken this training, he will not have to take it again. For the rest of us, we can go to the CDC website the NFHS website or the Learning Center to take the training. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. 
will receive a certificate downloaded and then uploaded into the CalSouth website. I do want to mention that let's go ahead and be proactive in letting our membership know that these websites are not CalSouth websites. They're completely separate platforms. They'll need to create a profile there to take the course. It will not be the same username and password as their CalSouth profile. And we don't have access to be able to log into those profiles um, other than the Learning Center. However, again, CDC and NFHS are separate from CalSouth. We won't have access to that. So just remind them to go ahead and create a profile and it is completely different. Sudden cardiac arrest. This is the newest of the two trainings. It is taken within the NFHS website. For this reason, we are suggesting referees just simply go to the NFHS website to take the trainings since it'll be one less profile to create. Uh, again, if they created the profile to complete the concussion training, they won't have to create another one. They'll just order the sudden cardiac arrest and take it there as well, download the certificate, and then upload it into the CalSoft website. I do want to mention that within the Learning Center, they have an assignment that's called the Introduction to Safe and Healthy Playing Environments within both the Referee and Coaching Education courses. The CalSoft Board of Directors had approved this assignment as uh, valid to cover uh, concussion training. So if any referee has taken a course within the Learning Center and has passed the introduction to safe and healthy playing environment within the Learning Center in that course, then the, that certificate is valid as having taken concussion training. Currently, the board directors are reviewing the content to see if it also covers the, uh, the requirements needed for the sudden cardiac arrest. So in the future, they might also approve it as having verified taking the sudden cardiac arrest. Not yet, but just that's in the works, hopefully in the near future. Certificate verification. Once we've completed both the concussion and sudden cardiac arrest from either platform, we'll receive a certificate of completion. So we'll download it from that platform and then upload it into the CalSouth profile. Once you enter your CalSouth profile, you should find several tabs on a portion of your profile uh, page. You'll click on the certificate tab where you'll find the spaces provided to go ahead and upload those certificates. Once the referee uploads those certificates, uh, they could send us an email to referee registration just to let us know so that we could then verify it. The verification process is done through the office. So yes, we'll have to manually click in there, verify that they've uploaded an actual certificate and not just a, a, a random picture and verify it on our end. A few notes about Say Sport. Last fall in September was the first year that CalSouth administrators had to upload their Say Sport certificate into their CalSouth profile. And this year will be the first time that CalSouth Association will need to verify the annual refresher course. That being said, there has been a system expiration date set for June 1st, at which point all Safe Sport training certificates will be purged from the system. What that means is that the current verification and certificate that is in their Safe Sport field will be deleted and left open so that the new refresher uh, verification can be verified. The two ways to do that at this moment is to go ahead and upload the certificate and let us know at referee registration to verify it and the API. The API again is automatic and it does need first, last name and email to match exactly in order for it to match. If there is a match, the system takes 24 hours approximately for it to refresh and it automatically sets a, a an image in that field where the certificate would go and also verifies it. So those are two places, uh, two ways to get it verified and, and done. And there's again, two places to take the training, Safe Sport uh, website directly or the Learning Center. So both places have that API connection and we'll be able to verify it so long as the full uh, name and email match. So quick recap of the CalSelf additional certifications. Trainings can be completed on the CDC, NFHS, or Learning Center websites. 
those platforms are separate from CalSelf. We do not have access to the CDC or NFHS uh, platforms. Individuals will need to create profiles there, which will be different from their CalSelf profile. The certificates will be downloaded and uploaded into the correct CalSelf referee profile. After uploading, we encourage members to email us so that we can verify those trainings. Concussion and sudden cardiac arrest trainings only need to be taken once. If they've completed it, they don't have to take it again. Deadline to complete the trainings, the additional ones, is July 1st. And the, as far as new provisionals, they all have until December 14th of this year to complete an in-person with either their local association or with CalSouth. U.S. Soccer Referee Workshop. On an annual basis, U.S. Soccer does meet with all state SRCs to discuss any changes to the referee program or to the upcoming certification requirements. This year, they held that series via a webinar series uh, because of the coronavirus. So for 2021, registration will continue to be done outside of the Learning Center. CalSouth is considered a non-LC state, meaning our state administers outside of the Learning Center. Other states are using the Learning Center completely for pay, for registrations, for background checks, for all full administration. We're not doing that. We're continuing on as we have been for 2020 outside of it and then uploading into their system. Now let's talk about any changes here real quick. On the grassroots level, there are no new changes. There are no new changes for the grassroots new referees. They will continue to take their online course through the Learning Center, register with us to take an in-person training uh, once those become available. In the interim, we still have the provisional path until we're able to gather in person. The grassroots referees, there will be a slight change. We'll be using some content from US Soccer as far as the course is concerned uh, and the quiz. So that's the only difference. They'll be able to take a quiz and, and view the content via Learning Center, register with us, and then we'll upload the approval to the Learning Center for the grassroots research. On the regional level, there isn't really many changes. Uh, regional referees will take an online, uh, a course, the regional course, instead of having RPDs uh, cover the course. RPDs, or what will then be called core, will be additional trainings, uh, which we'll later discuss with the rest of the SRC and, and provide that information for all local referee associations. But for now, uh, the regional course will be needed by all regional referees uh, to be taken, which will be an in-person course, and there will be some online content material as well. Now, there are some changes to the instructor assessor uh, level. However, Lee uh, and Rick will be able to discuss that with you folks on the next webinar. Know that the biggest uh, relief for us and news is that it will be a transition that will take about estimated five years. So it's still going to be a slow progression and transition over to the newer levels. And we'll get into that with the next webinar, but for now, everything is still being administered as is uh, through the state association. Great, so thanks everybody for joining. We really appreciate it. Uh, Lee, is there anything you wanna say before um, we sign off? No, I'm, I'm very happy to have been selected to the SRC. I look forward to working with everybody. Uh, yeah, it's from where I'm sitting right now, it's a great team. I'm super impressed with Juan. Uh, he definitely cares very much for the program and for you uh, as associations as well as all the referees. Thank you, Lee. Rick, anything you want to say before we sign off? I'm just same as uh, Lee. I'm very happy to have been selected. I look forward to working with everybody uh, to make the program stronger. I want to thank everybody that joined today. Don't forget, uh, we have our next webinar on this Thursday, May the 7th, not the 5th. The 5th is today. And it's going to be at five o'clock and you'll have Lee and Rick give uh, their updates on uh, the assessor and instructor um, avenues. So thank you very much. Take care. Hopefully you're safe and keep your family safe and we'll see each other out on the fields.